My name is Kayla. I'm Noelle. I'm Anna. And we're representatives from FRC 4607 CIS. We're from the small town of Becker, Minnesota with just under 5,000 people. Today, we're excited to share our stories with you. I've always been aware of robotics and STEM through my high school career, but I've never had the initiative to join before this year. 4607 had always seemed like an uplifting community, but I had to ask myself, would I feel included? 4607 has made significant progress in diversity, equity, and inclusion. In the past year, we sent an ambassador group to our school's GSA. There, we received advice on how to improve LGBTQ representation on our team through education and visibility. After listening to the voice of the GSA members, we've implemented the option to use of pronoun pins, which were made by Anna. We also shared an LGBTQ presentation with our team. Working towards greater equality, we make it a priority to include all 4607 members in decision making and goal setting. We often use surveys and voting to ensure everyone's voices are heard. 4607 has also made significant strides in closing the gender gap on our team, with our ratio of men to women being one to one. By encouraging more women to join our team and increase their visibility, Team 4607 has become a safe space for women in our school. After a few short weeks, I was excited to learn that there was a place for me in 4607. I'm excelling in my first year of FRC, developing professional skills and furthering the team's inclusivity efforts. I've put a ton of time and hard work into robotics, and 4607's welcoming environment is allowing me to thrive and contribute to the submissions you see today. Without the emphasis we put on inclusivity and respect, the voices of underrepresented groups wouldn't be brought to the table, resulting in fewer ideas and lower performance. After years of trying five different sports and not finding a good fit, I finally joined the robotics team last year after much prompting from Kayla. During and after COVID, I struggled deeply with social anxiety and entering a new environment scared me. I wasn't sure I'd have the skills to collaborate with my peers. Another shared emphasis we discovered this season was cooperation. Students from our team are always willing to assist each other across our 11 departments. We also worked extensively to promote collaboration with other first teams. This year, we continue to mentor Team 8516 Wire Up, who is in their second year of competition. We've taken time during our build season to mentor them on topics such as programming, design, impact, and strategy. We also maintain an open source policy with our documentation. By publishing all of our code to GitHub and our CAD models to GrabCAD, we can assist teams from around the world. We introduce other first teams to risk analysis methods with FMEA, or failure modes and effects analysis. By sharing our content and innovative methods, we foster the growth of other FIRST teams through improved efficiency and accessible data. 4607 has first-hand experience with the symbiotic nature of competition and cooperation, encouraging cooperation. By sharing our resources with others while challenging our peers in a competitive manner, 4607 cultivates stronger FIRST teams. Joining 4607 has made a huge difference in my life. I'm no longer nervous to talk to and collaborate with others and can even give presentations like this one without all the nerves. I've made many friends that I never would have met otherwise and the competitive nature of robotics motivates me to always create my best work. This motivation seeps over into other aspects of my life, helping me to develop goals and the means to achieve them. Without a blend of cooperation and competition, 4607 would become stagnant and isolated, weakening our members' relationships with each other and with other first teams. Last year, I recognized I wanted to be a leader and make a difference in my community. However, I hadn't been supplied with the proper leadership skills in the past and felt underprepared. After joining 4607 with Noelle, I searched for opportunities to grow. I asked our team, what do 4607's community outreach efforts look like? I soon learned that COVID had broken many of them apart and they needed revival. Team 4607 is entirely student-led. Students run each department, lead every meeting, and make every major decision. Our strong leadership and dependability has caused our community involvement to skyrocket. And since last year, we've become a group that other organizations turn to in a time of need. Our ability to step up on show notice has made us valuable to groups such as Beyond the Yellow Ribbon and Becker Backpack Buddies. When 4607 sees a need, our members are always prepared to fill it. Despite Becker's small community, we have created a large FIRST program within our town. Considering COVID-related shutdowns, we have grown our first teams from 5 to 19 in the past year. Additionally, 
After being inspired by a segment on recycling in this year's kickoff video, we've started to collect our cans for our Becker 5th graders recycling project. Coding for Cookies is Kayla's pride and joy. Our team has worked with nearly 100 Girl Scouts to introduce them to STEM and robotics, creating a dual benefit. We lead and they learn. Recently, we've received a grant of over $7,000 to invest into this project in order to expand it to other FRC teams. Since joining 4607, I founded the Community Outreach Department, built Coding for Cookies from scratch, and gained the confidence to lead. 4607 has also inspired me to lead in other areas. Currently, I'm Becker's Student Council President and a School Board Representative. As a leader, I was even recognized as Becker's Homecoming Queen. The leadership our team instills within people from all walks of life is unlike any other. Without our foundation of leadership, Team 4607 would shatter. In prioritizing our values of inclusivity, cooperation, and leadership, Team 4607 is unbreakable. With each team member having their own story shaped by 4607, we are prepared to impact the world. Because innovation cannot happen in isolation.